Okay, welcome to uh, Farmig's interactive presentation on the cleaning and disinfection for clean rooms module. My name is Tim Sandal and I've been asked by Farmig to review the module and I am not only happy to endorse it, but I'm also going to run through some of the highlights and discuss some of the benefits of the module to industry for this new form of training. Farmig, for anyone who isn't aware, is the professional body for pharmaceutical microbiologists. And this presentation will be looking at the cleaning and disinfection of clean rooms interactive training module. And this was developed from Pharma's successful guide to disinfectants for the pharmaceutical and healthcare industries. Now, cleaning and disinfection, great importance for the control of clean rooms and for reducing contamination. However, a recent review of industry practices suggests that there are gaps in training schemes and a great variety in practices. So this led to Farmig seeing this new form of training as an opportunity to raise standards throughout the industry. And this form of training is based on e-learning. And this is an established form of training for the pharmaceutical industry. And it provides a flexible format that can be integrated with in-house training packages. And Pharmac have developed this interactive online training module in cleaning and disinfection because it's been recognized as one of the most important areas that requires attention for GMP facilities. I would now like to show you a short video about the um, training package. Farmig is proud to announce its new training portal, a dynamic interactive online training tool, making personnel training easy, convenient, and quantifiable. The Farmig training portal features high-quality demonstration footage for the training of personnel in pharmaceutical, healthcare, and medical device clean rooms. Each training video is followed by detailed multiple choice questions about the subject covered in the video module. Each user is issued with a personalized certificate upon successful completion of the module. The Farmig training portal features full administrative control, enabling you to set the path criteria, view results, and monitor and manage user activities. The Farmic Training Module, providing effective training, giving personnel a better understanding of cleaning and disinfection best practice. Why not subscribe to the Farmic Training Portal for your team? For more information and prices, please call the number on screen or visit farmic.org.uk. So as you can see from the video, um, Farmig have spent a lot of time putting this content together to develop a GMP-focused cleaning and disinfection module. And much of the content is in line with um, industry best practices. It's drawn from uh, best practices as mentioned by FDA and USP. And importantly, it captures some of the key advice in the revised EU GMP Annex 1. Three words describe this online training system. First, it's engaging, and Farmig have made this online training portal easy to use. Each module includes a combination of live film and animation, which is designed to bring the training topics to life. This is then followed by multiple choice questions that test the comprehension of each user. The module is also flexible. Users can complete tasks at the time it suits them, avoiding the need to assign classroom time, which can so often be difficult to schedule. The user can also pause and recommence training at any time, which minimizes the impact upon operations. The module is also quantifiable, 
So on completion of the module, a certificate is generated, and this confirms the date and time of completion, and also has the job title of the user, training topics, and overall score. So this fits in neatly with many companies' training systems, and also meets GMP training requirements. The whole package was developed by industry experts, and the module is ideal for people who are new to clean room environments, and anyone who is involved with cleaning and disinfection. Indeed, anyone who enters a clean room should have this underpinning knowledge. The module is particularly useful for production operators, for managers, for cleaners, for those who work in QC and QA, and indeed many microbiologists may also find some of the content of use. So by watching the series of detailed videos, follow multiple choice assessment, each user can learn a variety of essential subjects relating to their role in the clean room environment. And the modules balance best practice with some sound theoretical concepts. The module is divided into three clearly defined chapters. The first is on an introduction to contamination in clean rooms, and this details the importance of controlling contamination and the important standards of cleanliness that are required for the manufacture of pharmaceutical products and medical devices. It also covers the sources of contamination in clean rooms, predominantly focusing on people because people are a major source of contamination in clean environments, particularly through shedding. The module also looks at classification limits for clean rooms and the limits required for ongoing monitoring in relation to both microorganisms and particulates, including the various limits and how they change in relation to different clean room grades. And this is demonstrated by some clear visual examples. The second chapter is about disinfection selection, storage and uses. And as only approved disinfectants and cleaning agents may be used in the clean room, it's of fundamental importance to use the right product for the right grade of area. The principles and criteria for disinfectant selection are detailed so that the user knows how frequently and for how long. There's also some important information alongside this product choice about the control and handling of disinfectants in terms of health and safety, so such as using the right personal protective equipment to ensure that personnel are protected from hazardous chemicals. There's also some key concepts discussed, such as the importance of correct dilutions of disinfectants and the need to observe the correct contact time. And these are key items that an auditor may ask for. So again, the GMP aspects of this module are of great importance and they're emphasized very clearly here. The third chapter looks at cleaning techniques and this addresses the practical use and application of equipment, cleaning agents and disinfectants. The risk of incorrect cleaning equipment and storage is explained and this is designed to help prevent the clean room from contamination risk. The differences between cleaning and disinfection are also detailed, and this is something, again, of fundamental importance to current regulatory thinking, as again, again captured in revised Annex 1. And it's of double importance that the correct sequence of cleaning and disinfection tasks are undertaken, together with the right application techniques. And these are of importance to ensure that the disinfectant works correctly. And without good mopping, wiping, and transfer disinfection, all of which are clearly demonstrated through the video content, then mistakes and contamination issues can arise. The chapter finishes with recommendations for the safe disposal of cleaning and chemical solutions in keeping with current environmental standards. This slide shows the home page of the portal in keeping with GMP data integrity expectations. Each user is required to enter a unique login and password in order to access the system. 
This practice is supported by user guides which are available to download from the site. And these outline the clear instructions of how to set up and to run each module. When asked a group of licenses to use for the system, they need to nominate one individual as a site administrator. And the job of the administrator would be to set up each user. The site administrator can configure the settings to their own company specifications. This is in terms of a pass mark and also the maximum number of trials are allowed in order to answer each question. Questions that are answered incorrectly can be viewed by the site administrator and this can prompt any additional internal training for the trainee on any given particular subject area. And the administrator can also access overall metrics to see how a group of staff are performing in any given area. This is shown through the site administrator's dashboard as illustrated on the screen. And the site administrator here has oversight of say the top three answers that could be answered incorrectly and this could then be a useful tool to prompt what else needs to be done in terms of boosting company best practices. The status of each trainee's progress is also displayed and it's also possible to drill down to an individual's answer for each of the questions as well as getting general oversight on completion status. So if training needs to be completed by a given date, the site administrator has clear overview of how a department is progressing. In terms of time, each module takes approximately 45 minutes to complete. The chapters have to be viewed in order and once complete, a series of multiple choice questions will appear and each user will have to answer these according to the preset pass mark before progressing. Once an entire module has been completed, each chapter's score is highlighted with an indication of whether the user has passed or failed based on the pass mark. In the result of any fail for a given chapter, the trainee has the ability to go back to that chapter and attempt to pass it again. The number of times this can be attempted is controlled by the administrator. If a trainee does not meet the individual site pass criteria, the site administrator will be notified by email. And as mentioned earlier, the questions answered incorrectly can be viewed by the site administrator, and this can then be used for additional training. On completion, of all chapters within the module, trainees can then print out a certificate um, within the module, which to meet EU GMP expectation requirements. In terms of licenses, these can be purchased in either allocations of 10 or 100 individual trainee modules, and they have a 12 month expiry from issue. In addition, there's the option to create bespoke packages to suit your requirements. And that information can be provided directly from Farmig, as we'll have a look at in a moment. The site administrator's dashboard will outline how many licenses have been allocated and how many remain, with the remainder sent when nearing full completion. And here on the screen is a snapshot of the module in use. In this case, completed module one successfully, and they're about to start playing the video for module two. And this is about selecting the right disinfectant. And this screenshot gives an idea of how straightforward the module is to use and gives an example of the interactive content. The Farming Cleaning and Disinfection Interactive Training Module provides an industry essential training tool that allows trainees in pharmaceutical and healthcare organisations to demonstrate their knowledge and understanding of the key sources of contamination within a clean room. It emphasises the principles behind disinfectant selection, 
looks at the sequence of disinfection tasks and examines the appropriate application techniques. This is all in line with EU GMP best standards and has been put together by leading industry experts specialising in cleaning and disinfection techniques. If you wish to know more about the module, then please contact Farmig. Either call the telephone number on the screen or email info at farmig.org.uk or if you wish to find out further details or to watch the video again, then please visit the Farmig website and access the video on the home screen. So this presentation has been brought to you by Farmig and it concerns the new Farmig cleaning and disinfection module designed for GMP pharmaceutical and healthcare facilities.